guys and welcome today I'm going to talk about body types and more specifically what kind of torso are you in today's video I'm just gonna focus in helping you to find your kind of torso but I'm gonna be making in the future a styling video series giving you tips on how to style your body type so before we get started please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you end up enjoying it and if you are not subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing because it's free and you can always just change your mind later so without further ado let's get on to it so when we usually talk about body types we talk about the more traditional or kind of popular body types which are the hourglass the triangle the rectangle the apple and the inverted triangle and the torso proportions looks more at the longitude or vertical proportions of your body rather than only looking at your shoulders and hips. Your torso affects how your clothes fit, how your weight is distributed throughout your body, how you will carry a pregnancy and much more. I would like to mention that all bodies are beautiful no matter if you have short legs or long legs or short or long torso and you should never hate on your own body or hate on other people's bodies and also keep in mind that we are women and we are just a little bit picky and we usually always want what we don't have if we have a short torso then we want a long torso if we have long legs then also we want a long torso like you cannot have it all but you can just love your body how it is because all bodies are beautiful so there's only three groups of kinds of torso we have the proportional the short torso and the long torso and of course there's also always like a spectrum you can have like a short torso but on the longer spectrum of the short torsos there's also people with really long torsos and there's people that have just like average long kind of proportionate torsos so there's a spectrum of course now we're getting into how to know what kind of torso are you so this is the easiest method and actually the method that i think works the best and the only thing that you need are your hands so you're gonna take one hand and you're gonna place it below your bust and then you're gonna take the other hand and place it below the other hand if your belly button is just underneath the second hand that means that you have a proportionate body if your belly button is below the hand but you have a little space that means that you have a long torso and if your belly button is somewhere underneath your hands that means that you have a short torso if you want to do this method you should always do it standing up and also just trying to keep your body quite straight and just putting your shoulders to the back just like you know like good posture <laughs> Also, if you're someone that thinks that their hands are small or big, keep in mind that usually your hands are in proportion to your body. I don't know if you knew this, but if you take your hand, it should fit perfectly right here, the length of that. And if you also take your hand and put it on your foot, it should also be the same length. And now all the fit people are happy about that. But it's just like a fun fact, um, don't worry if you think that you have uh, small or big hands, they are usually in proportion to your body. But if you're still not sure about this and you would like to double check, there's another method. So personally, I think it's more accurate to define your torso from the lower part of your neck or from your shoulders to your hip bone. But there's also a lot of people that incorporates the head and the neck to measure the torso. It kind of makes sense, but here the neck also plays a big part. I think that you can have a long torso but a short neck and you can also have like a really long neck and a short torso. And that will kind of confuse you and will visually just make your torso look longer than it actually is. Maybe you came to this video thinking that you have a long or proportionate torso and it turns out that you actually have a long neck and short torso. But that's totally fine. We are all different as I said at the beginning and all bodies are beautiful. If you would like to know if you have a short or long neck, you can also grab your hand and just place it below your jaw. And here you should check if you have some space. For instance, I can almost like fit like maybe a hand and two fingers uh, until I reach my collarbone. So I can have a little bit of a long neck. You can only fit one hand, that means that your neck is proportionate. If you can fit more than one hand, you have a long neck. And if you cannot fit one hand, that means that you have a short neck. I'm explaining all of this because this next method we are going to measure with a measuring tape from the top of our head to our crotch and then from our crotch to the feet. If you need to, you can ask for help, 
Personally, I think that you can do it alone. I do it alone and it's not that big of a deal, but having someone that can help you might probably be a little bit easier. So if the first measurement is longer than the second one, that means that you have a long torso. And if this second measurement is longer than the first one, that means that you have a short torso. For instance, when I do the hand method, it turns out that I have a proportionate torso. And then when I do the second method, the first measurement is 85 centimeters and the second measurement is 83, 82 centimeters. So it's almost proportionate, but it turns out that it says that I have a longer torso than legs. And that's because I have a longer neck. But in general, I would say that I have pretty much a proportionate body. So now that you know what kind of torso you are, I'm sure that you are going to dress more accordingly to it. And as I said at the beginning, I'm going to be doing a styling video series on this channel really, really soon, just teaching you some tips on how to style your torso type. So I really hope that this helped you out a little bit. I want to thank you all of you for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye bye.